Hi guys, it's Room the Math Person. Today I'll be going over question 303 on SOA exam P. So pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, assuming that you already tried this yourself, let's just dive right in. A skater, skateboarders A and B practice one difficult stunt until becoming injured while attempting the stunt. On each attempt, the probability of becoming injured is P. Okay? Independent of the outcomes of all previous attempts. Let f of xy represent the probability that x skateboarders a and b makes no more than x and y attempts respectively, where x and y are positive integers. I mean, that makes sense. You know, you can't really do negative attempts. Okay. It is given that f of 2, 2. So this just means um, skateboarders a and b, borders a and b makes no more then two attempts no more so that could mean that they could make one attempt and stop or they could so they could make one attempt and get injured so they're not going to try again or they could do it they could do they could make the stunt and try again right but notice it can't be p uh q qp because that's going to be three attempts right but then and it also can't be p and q because after that they get injured once, they're not going to try to stunt again, so this can't happen either. So the probability for just one person, like for example, if, like skateboarder A, is going to be P plus QP. Or QP. And we also know that Q is just a complement of P, so that's equal to P plus 1 minus P. P also equal to P plus P minus P squared equals 2P minus P squared. Alrighty, and, but this is only for one person. For two people, it's going to be this times itself, or we can just say it's squared. This is equal to 2, 2. And they give you that this is equal to 0. 0.0441. Okay, so then this is like everything we need to find what P is. Because we can take the square root of each side. So 2P minus P squared equals, let me type it into my calculator. Okay, so it's equal to 0. 0.21. Um, I think I'm going to complete the square, so I'm going to bring everything to the other side, so it's going to be equal to 0 equals 0.2, I'll, I'll do p squared minus 2p plus 0.21, so if I complete the square, so then I'm going to bring that squiggly line, this um, term to the other side, so it becomes negative 0.21 plus box equals p squared minus 2p plus 1 plus a box. So if you remember how to complete the square, we would have to divide this by 2, so that's negative 1, and we square it, so that's just 1. We do that to both sides, so the side's going to equal 0. 0.79 equals p minus 1, this whole thing squared. Because notice, if we just multiply it, roll it, it becomes first term minus the second term plus the last term squared, so notice it's just the same thing. And why are we allowed to do that? Well, that's because we added 1 to both sides. So technically, we're just um, adding one side by 1 and um, subtracting the other side. Or adding 1 to the other side as well. Okie dokie, let me jokey. So we take the square root. Right? Okay. So this becomes positive or negative. 0. 0.711. Okay. So what's the square root of 79? Well, that's equal to 8. Plus or minus 8.881 equals p minus 1. So I'm going to have to add 1 to each side. So it's going to be equal to 1 plus or minus. Oh, wait. <laughs> That's why I was like, interesting. So this is 0.79, which is equal to point. Here we go. 8.881. So it's 1 plus 0.8881 equals p. Well, we know that probability can't exceed 1, so we can eliminate the 1 plus sign. So then our probability is going to be 1 minus 0.8881, which is equal to delete, which is approximately equal to 0 0.11180 or 81 equals probability. Okay, so we know P, so we have everything we need to find what it, what it will be when F is equal to 1, 5. Alrighty. 
So that means they make skateboarder A makes no more than um, one attempt, right? So that we know that it's just P because it can, it can either make no attempt or zero attempt. And or in skateboarder B makes no more than five attempts. Okay, so the idea is like, okay, so they can make one attempt and get injured or they can make one attempt and um, and still make it and make in the second attempt they didn't get injured. So that it would be a QP or they can make two attempts and on the third attempt they get injured and so on and so on. Right? Or you can think of this as uh, the complement of making getting no injuries on the first five attempts. So that's one minus um making no injuries. So that's Q to the fifth in the first five attempts. Right? So that's, and but we also have to multiply the P, which is the first part for skateboarder A. Right? Or we know that this is equal to P times one minus one minus p fifth right okay so let me just um plug that into the calculator one minus one minus this number to the fifth which is equal to point oh four nine five which is our answer c if you guys have any questions feel free to leave them down below otherwise make sure you like subscribe and share bye